Every day, factories around the world produce up to 200,000 kg of tomato sauce, an indispensable ingredient in countless familiar dishes such as pasta, pizza, grilled meats, paella, and stews. With its rich flavor, smooth texture, and eye-kicking color, this distinctive red sauce has become one of the world's most beloved condiments. But have you ever wondered how ripe tomatoes are transformed into the thick sauce you often see on supermarket shelves? Today, we take you on a journey from harvesting to processing tomatoes on a modern production line. In this video, Although many people think of tomatoes as vegetables, botanically speaking, tomatoes are a fruit. Tomatoes are typically grown from seedlings produced in greenhouses, where seeds are sown in trays filled with nutrient-rich growing medium. Once the seedlings reach a height of about 20 to 30 centimeters, they are ready to be transplanted into the field using a mechanical transplanter, a method that ensures efficiency and uniformity in planting. The tomato growing cycle typically lasts between 90 and 120 days, depending on the variety and the climate of the region. Once this stage is complete, harvest begins and with it the fascinating industrial journey of tomato sauce production. Globally, tomato production is about 186 million tons per year, with China being the largest producer, followed by India, Turkey, and the United States. Brazil ranks ninth with about 4 million tons produced per year. Of this huge global output, about 44 million tons, about 24%, is dedicated to industrial processing to create products such as sauces, extracts, and pulp. Harvesting tomatoes for industrial use is a highly precise and technological operation. To ensure quality and durability, tomatoes must be picked at the right time, usually when 80 to 90% of the fruit on the plant has ripened to a uniform deep red color. Two to three weeks before harvest, irrigation is cut, concentrating the pulp inside the tomato and enhancing its density and flavor. Large harvesters, sometimes described as factories on wheels, operate in large fields, picking tomatoes directly from the plant in two rows at a time. These machines are equipped with sophisticated systems to remove stems, leaves, and debris during the harvest. After initial collection, tomatoes are placed on conveyor belts and passed through an advanced optical sensor system.
These cameras scan each fruit in real time, detecting the color of the fruit to identify unripe or damaged tomatoes. Image processing software then compares these measurements to a pre-programmed color standard. Mechanical arms quickly remove any unsuitable tomatoes, while the selected ones are transported to large bins, each holding up to 300,000 tomatoes. When full, these bins are loaded onto trucks, each holding up to 22 tons, and delivered directly to processing plants. Upon arrival at the factory, tomatoes are poured into water steel channels, allowing the fruit to float gently and minimizing bruising. This floating process also helps remove dirt leaves, and small insects from the surface. In some facilities, air bubbles are introduced into the water to create turbulence, increasing cleaning efficiency without damaging the tomato's delicate skin. After this initial wash, tomatoes are transferred via conveyor belts to a more intensive cleaning system that uses pressurized water jets to remove remaining soil and particles. Next comes the sorting stage, where the tomatoes are scanned again by a high-speed computer vision system to identify and remove any that have visual defects. Despite all this automation, a human operator still performs a final inspection to detect any defects that the sensors may have missed. The clean, ripe tomatoes are now ready to cook. There are three main cooking methods used in industrial tomato processing. First is steam cooking, which is ideal for preserving whole or diced tomatoes. The second method involves heating the tomato puree in large vats at around 100 DC, which is suitable for making extracts and sauces. Steam tomatoes are passed through a machine that gently peels the skin without damaging the flesh. This process not only makes peeling easier, but also sterilizes the fruit. The peeled tomatoes are then sorted by size and passed through another visual inspection line to remove any remaining skin or blemishes. Meanwhile, a portion of the harvest is sent to a blender, which uses specialized blades to turn the tomatoes into a puree. The puree is transferred to large stainless steel cooking tanks where it is reheated and stirred constantly to prevent scorching. During this stage, ingredients such as garlic, onions, salt, olive oil, and a spice blend are added to enhance the flavor. This cooking process can take several hours, ensuring the perfect consistency and flavor. Once cooked, the tomato sauce is cooled and stored in large sterile vats before packaging.
cans, jars, and bottles are processed on high-speed conveyor belts. Some machines can fill up to 1,000 containers per minute, dispensing the exact amount of sauce into each package. The containers are then sealed with precision. For glass jars, the metal lids are vacuum sealed to preserve freshness. And that's how millions of tons of tomato sauce are made every year. A seamless blend of agriculture, technology, and culinary tradition. If you enjoyed learning about this fascinating process, be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and leave a comment letting us know where you're watching from and what you thought of the episode. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for more great content. Thanks for watching.